We are with Eddie Payton, who is, among other things, now an author. Is that humanly possible? Well, I know my high school English teacher. She's kind of doing backflips now. She thinks that she's got the success when actually with Paul. <laughs> okay, so we have the book. It's Walter and Me. So my question is, and here's the cover. Why didn't they put the good-looking Peyton on the cover? Why didn't they? They saved, they saved you for the back. Well, it was a mix-up at the printing company. And this should have been the cover. That should have been the cover. And this should have been the back, but after they printed so many books, we just let them go. I'm a bigger man. So I just say, hey, we'll just let it go with that. Okay. We're not talking height here, though. Is that a short joke? <laughs> <laughs> See? Security! What, what was the process like of becoming a, a writer or an author? Uh, I think all great writers have one thing in common. Motivation. If you don't have motivation about something you see or something you feel, you can't write. Because writing actually comes from, from here in knowledge. Uh, my motivation was uh, the love that I felt for the people of Chicago. And I didn't want his fans to read some garbage about him that was not true. And in the attempt to, to do some of that, we ended up writing some stories about him that would help his fans realize who Walter Payton really was. So we have new material in this book. Oh yeah. Never seen before. Okay. So is this fiction or nonfiction? Only the names <laughs> have been, been changed, changed. <laughs> because I'm still paying two ex wives. <laughs> How long a process was this? Two and a half years. Okay. Uh, it would have probably taken basically about six months, but Paul has one of the finest hunting areas in, in North it's Mississippi. It's all your fault? And he has <laughs> access to two of the best brim and bass lakes in the state. So in between catching fish and him talking and hunting in the morning and him talking in the middle of the day and hunting in the evening and him talking at night, it took us two and a half years. Okay. We had a ball doing it. Did you d discover anything about yourself during this process? Uh, nothing but uh, erectile dysfunction is a state of mind, not a state of body. <laughs> <laughs> Just good to help. <laughs> At some point in time, the inappropriate comment. Uh, you know, you can, you can only hope so. As a publicist, you can only hope so much that you can get them off the stage before something. You know what? It's 9 o'clock, and uh, you know, that, that, that kind of it's, it's, right it's right. 9 o'clock, and yeah. it's Eddie. It's 9 o'clock, it's Eddie, you know. I'll tell you what, I learned, I, I learned that writing the book and having a chance to share the stories with, with Paul actually made me feel better about it. I mean, why should I keep all the good stuff when there are people who admire them out there that could get a lot out of knowing the real Walter, from bubble to sweetness? Okay. So off the success of this initial effort, can we expect more from you? Are you going to take a, a hiatus or a low hiatus or nope. any? Low hiatus is good. That's the second <laughs> short reference you've made since you've been sitting there. Uh, I don't, you know, I like to do an autobiographical book, type, uh, type of motivational book, kind of like what we're doing here today, okay. uh, eventually. But this was on my bucket list. I didn't ever think that I'd write a book, but it was on my way down on my bucket list, and I've done it, and I'm pretty proud of it. I told Paul, we don't care if it does not sell a copy. I'm just so proud of being able to do it. Excellent. Thank you for your time. Good luck with everything. Spelling your name as you autograph and all that other stuff. You have that down pretty well? Yeah. Today, uh, best wishes, Richard Milhouse Nixon. There we go. <laughs> Thank you very much, President. Thank you. Thank you.